Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. I have Tess snoring, I have Sabre lying at my feet so uh, we have the full um, quorum here for our reading today and our reading today is, and I'm going to giggle, is on Harry's wife and H.G. Tudor. Uh, now there are all kinds of interesting people with interesting perspectives on the Harkle saga that we have all learned a lot from and I've looked at a few of them already on this channel. Today it's the turn of H.G. Tudor who is a self-proclaimed narcissist but uh, also has some very very interesting material on narcissists and uh, of course the subject most in his sights at the moment is the alleged narcissist let's put it that way Harry's wife and I'm going to be doing a short reading a five card reading using the crow tarot which is the tarot I like to use when I look at Twitter YouTube those kinds of media media channels where people uh, discuss things, chatter away about things. And I'm going to be looking at Megan and H.T. Tudor. Just in general, how does she like being called a narcissist? How does she like being referred to as Harry's wife? And then, of course, the big question, does she actually watch H.T. Tudor? And what's going to happen in the end with that whole thing there has been an attempt to silence some of the big youtube channels that follow harry and megan of course with this boozy character if that's how you say his name i'm not sure the report that came out all these hate accounts trying to stop them trying to inflame opinion against them seems to have failed and uh but i just want to know what's going to be going on there and so five card reading one more shuffle using the crow tarot and uh, I'll talk, talk through the cards as I get to them so you know what they each represent. And uh, let's see, just for fun, and uh, how she feels if she watches, how she feels about it. And uh, my uh, instincts tell me she does watch, but uh, let's see what the cards have to say about the subject. And uh, underlying energy of this reading we get the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse. Uh, can you see it? All a bit shiny. The Hierophant. And the Hierophant is about teaching, actually. And one of its many meanings is the meaning that's coming to me from this card as its primary meaning in this reading. Hierophant is the teacher. Uh, it teaches you how to live your um, most authentic life, your best life, how to do the right thing, how to live in integrity, all of that. But it's about lessons um, and it's in the reverse. So there is a big lesson here. Uh, is she learning it? Interesting that it's in reverse because it's coming. I can I can read that card in various ways. The lessons coming from someone who knows this about his own self and is sharing the lesson. Um, so the teacher, in fact, is in reverse. The teacher is the negative thing, but teaching about the negative thing, which for me is a very, very interesting take on this whole thing. Uh, a level of self-awareness that the vast majority of narcissists do not have. I have um, my own personal experience of that. Let's just leave that there. And um, But also, uh, is, the, is the lesson being learned? The big lesson that is being presented and uh, of course I very often say that this whole saga is a lesson to all of us to the players involved but it's a meta lesson to all of us as well and that's I think why we're also hooked on it and um, can't really let it go even though it has been going on for an awfully long time and I think we're all ready for it to end now in some way um, so the heart of the matter Megan and H.G. Tudor there he is the emperor and it's funny because as I was thinking about these cards and how I was going to ask the questions, I remembered the reading that I did on the body language guy. And uh, he came out as the king of wands, I think in the same position, the heart of the matter. And H.G. Tudor is coming out as the emperor. And the emperor is all about ego. It's an upright card. It is about um, male ego in particular, but to women, of course, can embody male ego as well. We all have ego and we all have male energies in us, but it is about ego, but it is about 
dominance about power and so I think that is a signifier for HD Tudor if ever there was one. So he's shown up as two major arcana already in this reading, the Hierophant, Hierophant in reverse and the Emperor. Uh, he is really the one in charge here um, and uh, let's see how Megan feels about it all. So the first question and these are two general questions, they don't relate specifically to HD Tudor's YouTube channel, they relate just generally because he's not the only one who has accused Megan of being a narcissist. Many people have in various um, media, various platforms uh, claimed that Meghan Markle is a narcissist and I am saying that I am not an expert on any of these things. I am just repeating what other people are claiming. And so how does she feel about being labelled a narcissist? Does it wound her? It's very upsetting. Oh, it's so hurtful. Ace of Cups in reverse. It's, this is devastating to her. She really, I think she cries and she has tantrums about it and sobs into her pillow about it. Um, that, that really is devastating for her to be labelled like this. She wanted to be the Queen of Hearts. And I'm going to giggle hysterically at the idea of Meghan Markle being the Queen of Hearts and walking with those giant feet in Princess Diana's delicate footsteps. Um, so much more subtle in her um, uh, machinations, shall we say. There was a genuine heart in there. However, uh, she may have been uh, playing people at some level. She was genuinely compassionate and charitable and kind and empathetic and, and, um, and cared about people loved people and you could feel that about her and that's why people responded to her the way that they did and still do whereas Meghan Markle not so much and she's very very hurt and very upset about this she really really is as hurt and upset as a narcissist can be alleged narcissist so the next general question how does she feel about being called Harry's wife which was a thing people decided to do some months ago to sort of bring her down a peg and um, remind her people call them the sixes as well because they're sixth in line what he is so Harry's wife the sixes whatever else they call them lots of different uh, for I have different labels for them one calls them the dollars I can't remember all of them and of course I don't travel it everywhere at once it's impossible to keep um, up with everything in the story so how does she feel about it the hanged man in reverse and the hanged man is about being sacrificed being a victim being punished uh, being in limbo being left dangling uh, being cast out really and because this card is in reverse as I always say to the point of tedium I know hang, um, hanged cards reversed cards isn't that interesting it is a reversed card and we have mercury retrograde so I call a reversed card a hanged card the hang uh, the hanged card the hangman uh, in reverse can be an extreme energy of the situation it can be the reversal of the situation it can be the situation delayed and coming to pass in future for me this card here means extreme version of feeling sacrificed feeling a victim feeling um, left out feeling outcast feeling that she um, really has been punished unfairly and is being picked on that is an energy of the hanged man is a card uh, an energy of being picked on unfairly and uh, major arcana coming out in this reading three of them so far out of five cards and i cannot count <laughs> three out of four cards and i can't keep blaming mercury retrograde for my <laughs> mental lapses I have to stop blaming old age I suppose and uh, I've used up the heat excuse as well it's a nice cool day here now so uh, the telling question for this reading is does Meghan Markle actually watch um, HG Tudor is she aware of him does she watch him oh I think she does because it's a five of cups and it's sorrow it's sorrow untold sorrow um, yeah it's the Five of Cups in reverse and again I'm going to read this card as the extreme version of the card rather than coming out of that sorrow. She's deep in sorrow about it. It's very hurtful, very upsetting. Um, 
Again, I want to laugh inappropriately, which is showing that I lack empathy and compassion um, in this case. But anyway, so yeah, mea culpa. But uh, Five of Cups in reverse, she's extremely upset about it. Very, very upset about it. I've got two cups cards for her in this reading, and big ones, big ones about being very emotionally invested in this thing, but in a negative way. I think she literally cannot believe that the level of pain that people are inflicting on her. Uh, this is from her perspective, from the hanged man's perspective, remember. Um, the level of pain that pe people are inflicting on her, the level of cruelty from her point of view, from her perspective. We, of course, see the level of pain that she has inflicted on other people, many other people, people who really don't deserve it. Um, Catherine springs to mind, Prince Philip springs to mind, the entire royal family springs to mind, the people of the United Kingdom spring to mind, uh, Prince Harry even springs to mind in a tiny little way. If I'd been doing, doing this reading four years ago I would have been sobbing into my five cups as well on behalf of Prince Harry but I lost sympathy for him a long time ago. Anyway yeah it's painful. She knows, I do think she knows, I think she almost can't tear herself away from watching. Um, lesson uh, lesson so far unlearned it looks like and the outcome of this is she going to learn a lesson is uh, H.G. Tudor going to be dragged down by the flying monkeys uh, that have been set out as sent off um, after all these YouTube channels and various other places to try and tear them down and try and stop them uh, what's going to happen eight of cups uh, does not look like she is going to succeed. She may uh, move on. She may learn to turn her back to these painful uh, experiences. It doesn't look as if H.G. Uh, Tudor is going to be uh, walking away from a sorrowful experience. This is Megan walking away from a sorrowful experience. She's the cups in this reading. She's the one wounded. She's the one devastated by it. This card is sitting under the Ace of Cups. Uh, just as the Five of Cups was sitting under the Emperor, it refers to the Emperor. The Emperor is in charge there and she is the one weeping. And here, the Ace of Cups, it does look as if she's eventually going to just learn a lesson, not the right lesson, not the lesson about narcissism, but the lesson of learning to turn her back on these uh, places where she's discussed, where she's talked about, where she is picked apart and analysed um, by people who are experts in their field and uh, looks as if she is actually going to eventually realise that she can't be obsessed with it all. She can't spend her nights reading Daily Mail comments. She can't spend her days watching YouTube videos on herself about herself and her flaws. I mean, what a terrible thing to be faced with. There it is, the lesson, the Hierophant in reverse. And uh, that looks like the outcome, walking away from it all. And uh, lesson, I think, remaining unlearned, the big lesson anyway. That's the reading, short and sweet, and I'll see you on the next one.